so hello everyone welcome again and this is the continuation tutorial for the uh, project simulation like uh, online movie uh, ticket booking system and the last tutorial we have learned in the last session we have covered the utility package and we'll continue this with model classes and the exceptions so let's switch to the ide and evaluate the model package so if you are uh, following the previous videos and you have better understanding why we are using that model package inside the mbc as per the mbc architecture so if i talk about some brief introduction about the models so models is completely used to uh, perform the transactions uh, during the database like whenever a uh, server is going to pass a data in the database so it will go through the model classes so it will um, communicate with the model classes so we create separate models according to the application modules like uh, there are a user model so a user can log in a user can registration so somewhere user need to talk with uh, database so whatever the database transaction we are performing as a user so we'll manage this thing in this user model similarly role models are there role model it means different types of role in the application like for example there are multiple roles are there like uh, admin is there username is the user is there or some other roles are there so we'll manage the role accordingly and movie model all the transaction related to the movie if you want to insert some movie if you want to delete some movie if you want to edit some movie if you want to find some primary key and all the things will manage in this movie model and book model is like uh, all the transaction related to the booking so let's see the one by one if i talk about the uh, user module so let's let me explain you the very first model and which is the user model so what exactly we are doing for example i need uh, i need a class like i need a method to add a user <coughs> so uh, i create a method here which is called add and it will uh, here we will pass the object of bean class which is user bean so if you are if you have understanding about the beans so bean is just used to uh, get a set value to object so we here we have a user bean and user bean contains the first name last name login password configuration and role id instead of creating uh, different different uh, ids or different different uh, variable name we just creating an object of bean class and we are passing that complete object here that object will contain different different properties like first name last name login password mobile and the, all the detail so how that is things is working exactly <clears throat> so we create a connection con equals to right now it's null and we set a primary key as a zero then we create an object of user win and find by log login id and we get login <clears throat> so when i click uh, when i navigate to this method switch to here and it will return a method like get login or get uh, is <coughs> login or not so uh, this method will return that user is logged in or not so exists bean not equal to null it means a login already exists login id is already exists so it means that user is a duplicate user and it can't access or it can't log in or registration again so <clears throat> now the main thing the main part of that the main aim of the this code is like we are going to insert some data inside our database so here in the last tutorial you have seen the role of jdbc data source so i create an instance of jdbc so jdbc data source and get connection from there so now this null connection turn into a connection it have been connection now uh, will check uh, will 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 this this is used to just simply print a message on the console and now we create an object of prepared statement ss prepared statement and on on this connection we pass a prepared statement and pass a query here insert into t user this is the table name i have in the database so if you can see here this is the t user so <coughs> insert into two user and values will be 
for now I am passing the question mark this is the format of the prepared statement and the first in the first question mark the value is good will goes to primary key primary key it means we are passing a primary key as a next pk next next pk means it will generate the next number of the primary key like the first number is one then it will generate the two three four five a unique number every time to so set integer and then second set a string at the column two index two it means the second question mark and the bean bean means the object of this user bean here we create this here we are passing the object then get the first name and pass it and the index 3 index 4 index 5 index 6 index 7 <clears throat> at the end we are passing a execute update command it means it's in the whole object um, uh, prepared statement will execute as a execute update and that code will be commit in the database then we will close the connection so this is about the uh, adding a user similarly we are using to delete a user so pro the whole process will be same like jdvc.get connection and <clears throat> we are creating an object of prepared statement and passing a uh, query here delete from t user where id equals to question mark so uh, what, whatever the id we are passing so if the id will be bean.get id <clears throat> and execute update same find by login it means it will check select a streak from the t user where well, login equals to this to get the login and <clears throat> this is for the update this method will work as a to perform the update operation over there and we'll see the real time example when we uh, check the uh, our uh, servlet classes so we'll redirect to some I, I will redirect you to some time here and we'll understand the exact flow of this so similarly model is responsible for this kind of operation <clears throat> same as a role model same as a movie model we are adding deleting or some movies like add movies or delete movies or same things and for the booking purpose also we are add book and all the things we are using uh, it will be easy to understand when we are uh, switched to this controller part and will come here at the time of running the project so this is a brief idea of the model how the model is working and let's switch to a uh, brief introduction about the exception so whatever the exception we are getting in the application we are using this exception package so for example application exception just pass a message here and it's um, create an exception of super class like <clears throat> like it's ex extend the super class exception and will return the message same database exception is if there are any database exception we will call this if duplicate record exception we will call this record not found exception so at the, according to the exception we create a separate methods we'll call according to the exception over there <clears throat> and <clears throat> for the bean you have better understanding like uh, what the bean, bean bean is just using to get and set the value that's it nothing is important like whenever we need to set records we are going to set records in different different uh, variables in these variables if i need to set some records for this variable we'll set through the bean and if you want to get the variable we will get it so uh, instead of taking in a um, single variable we will uh, deal with a complete object of the bean classes so similarly for the booking and all here you can see one uh, interface is there uh, <coughs> like where it was let me switch to util so uh, this interface is just using to for the drop down list bean i think it's not using so we'll uh, let you know like uh, later on if you need this so uh, in the next session we'll switch to the controller and understand the exact flow of the application step by step